Good morning on a snowy day here at Cathedral Ridge. The Episcopal Church in Colorado is glad to offer the service of morning prayer in honor of Earth Day because we believe that creation care is an urgent reality for us as Christians. So let us give thanks to God for the beauty of God's creation and renew our commitment to be stewards of this great gift. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed, alleluia. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. Behold, everything has become new. O God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and, and your, your glory all the day long. Praise, praise to, to the, the holy and undivided Trinity, Trinity one God, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. O come, let us worship. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise to the Lord a shout with psalms. For you are a great God, you are great above all gods. In your hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture, and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Oh, come, let us worship. Alleluia. We will read Psalm 33 responsively by half verse. Sing for God a new song. Sound a fanfare with all your skill upon the trumpet. For the word of the Lord is right. And all of God's works are sure. God loves righteousness and justice. The loving kindness of the Lord fills the whole earth. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the breath of God's mouth, all the heavenly hosts. God brought in the waters of the ocean as in a water skin. And stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe. For God spoke and it came to pass. God commanded and it stood fast. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ezekiel 47, 6 through 12. Then he said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on one side and on the other. He said to me, this water flows towards the eastern region and goes down to the Araba. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will be fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be very many fish. 
Once these waters reach there, it will become fresh and everything will live where the river goes. People will stand fishing beside the sea from Angedi to Engala. It will be a place for the spreading of nets. Its fish will be of a great many kinds, like the fish of the great sea, but its swamps and marshes will not become fresh. They are to be left for salt. On the banks on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. of our God and King. Lift up your voices, let us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Bright burning sun with golden beams, pale silver moon that gently gleams. Oh, praise him, oh, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Dear Mother Earth, you day by day unfold your blessings on our way. Oh, praise Him, Alleluia. that in you grow, let them his glory also show. All oh, praise him, all oh, praise him, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Según San Marcos, por último se apareció Jesús a las once mientras comían. Nos reprendió por su falta de fe y por su obstinación en no creerles a los que lo habían visto resucitado. Les dijo, vayan por todo el mundo y anuncien las buenas nuevas a toda criatura. Que escuchen lo que el Espíritu dice al pueblo de Dios. A reading from Mark. Later Jesus appeared to the eleven themselves as they were sitting at the table, and he upbraided them for their lack of faith and stubbornness, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into the world 
and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all of creation. To the honor and glory of God, who by the word and through the Spirit creates, redeems, and sanctifies us all. Amen. When I was growing up, one of my favorite church songs was The Earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord's. And I would find myself humming that song when I was standing before the immensity of the Atlantic Ocean, when I was hiking, when I saw beautiful birds, when I went to the mountains and saw waterfalls. Whenever I am in nature and observe its beauty, that song comes to me. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Here in Colorado, we are confronted daily with the untamed, glorious beauty of creation. I comment when I travel to churches to see you about how beautiful my commute is. And all along the way, I experience the beauty of God's imagination, the untamed glory of that which God has created. My children will tell you that the first time we were traveling and we saw bighorn sheep, I squealed with delight. My husband will tell you that some of the most spiritual experiences that I have had have been after we've been on long hikes, far away from anything that looks remotely civilized and I can absorb the harsh beauty of our natural world. Here in Colorado, creation is with us. And we know that today we might be wearing flip-flops and a t-shirt, but we need to have our coat and boots at the ready. Here, in this of all places, we see the beauty of God's creative enterprise in this world that we inhabit. And so I find the words from today's gospel this gospel that is the alternate ending to the gospel of Mark. This gospel where the women actually go and speak the good news and people don't believe them. And Jesus rebukes them and says to the 11, go and proclaim the gospel to all of creation. The good news that you and I have received about God's redeeming work is not just about humanity. It is about God redeeming this very creation. It is our call as people who follow Jesus to be about the redemption of the earth we inhabit. And that redemption involves us coming to this place and recognizing that it's not ours. The earth is the Lord's. And as that which belongs to God, that which was created by God, you and I are called to care for it. To recognize that this creation can be for us a place of healing. That this creation is for us a place of nurture. And so many times in our arrogance as humans, we believe that this place is for our ex exploitation. But we are not called to exploit that which is God's. We are called to recognize that God's glory is proclaimed even here. We are called to be stewards of this gift placed in our hands. We have been trusted to care for this world to make sure the streams flow clean, to recognize that we share this world with all sorts of animals, animals 
many of which that have gone extinct and will never be seen again, but we are called to be stewards of this beautiful, untamed, vibrant, living earth on which we live. It has saddened me in recent years that care for creation has somehow become politicized, that somehow it defines who you are politically to claim that we are called to be good stewards of this creation that is not ours. It is my prayer that we heed the words of Jesus in the Gospel of Mark, that, that we internalize them, that we live them, recognizing that our job is to proclaim the good news to all of creation. Our job is to be stewards and to care for this great gift that we have been given. The earth is the Lord's. We are called to appreciate our place in this world and the gift it is to us. To care for, to treasure, to steward this beautiful wide earth. In the name of Christ. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We gather today to give thanks for the wonder of God's creation and to honor the gifts that sustain us. To each has been given a purpose so that all may live. Let us pray. We give thanks for the earth, for the soil and rocks that support us and all that surrounds us. May we honor these gifts. We give thanks for the sun, for the warmth and light it offers so that all may grow and flourish. May we honor these gifts. We give thanks for water in all its forms, for cooling the earth and quenching the thirst of plants and animals. And may we honor these gifts. We give thanks for the plants, from tiny flowers to the largest trees, for providing food to eat, air to breathe, and ways to heal. And may we also honor these gifts. We give thanks for the creatures who share this earth, for the insects and birds who pollinate flowers, for the animals who create meadows, for the fish who help to cleanse the waters. And may we honor these gifts. We give thanks for one another and our responsibility to care for your creation. Guide us as we pray, as we work to protect, restore, and share these gifts so that all may live. Uh, Amen. Man. Bountiful God, you call us to labor with you in tending the earth. Where we lack love, open our hearts to the world. Where we waste, give us discipline to conserve. Where we neglect, awaken our minds and wills to insight and care. May we, with all your creatures, honor and serve you in all things. For you live and reign with Christ, Redeemer of all, and with your Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. <laughs>
Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.